everyone welcome back to my channel for today's video we have some more empties and these are all sheet mask empties at the point i believe this video has been uploaded my regular empties video should be up by now which i will link in the cards I normally do just include my sheet mask empties in with my normal empties basket but because i've gone through quite a few sheet masks in the past few months i thought i would do that in a separate video not everyone's interested in sheet masks so I thought if I split them up it'd give you the choice if you wanted to watch about the sheet masks or not. We have quite a few here to go through so let's get started. These are in no particular order as to when I've tried them it's just how they were kind of thrown together but what I tend to try and do when I try a sheet mask on I write myself a little note on the back in sharpie because come to the point where I'm doing a video like this they all kind of merge together my thoughts on them so I'm really hoping that all of the masks have some sort of note on the back. But this first one is by Vita Masks, and this is the Pomegranate Moisturising, Firming and Lifting Mask. So this one I say is from the brand Vita Masks or Vita Masks. There are going to be quite a few of them in here and also quite a few that I received in Face Story, which is why I have a large amount of skincare empties because I got a bundle from Vita Masks at I think the Glossy Box party I went to back in August. And I've also been subscribed to Face Story now for quite a few months. So I've got an amalgamation of them as well. But back to this one. So on the back here, I've put that this one fit really nice, which is kind of one of my main criteria as to whether I like a mask or not. I've put it smells nice, but it's subtle because I think it did have a slight fruity scent to it, but nothing too overpowering, just nice and fresh smelling. I've also put that the juice after sunk in well. So a lot of skin masks that I've tried, sometimes the residue that's left on your face can be a bit much and it kind of just sits on the skin so much so that I end up wiping it off sometimes. But I remember with this one, I was able to fully rub it into my skin and it just left my skin feeling really nice that I didn't have to go and wash it off straight away. I could leave it to then settle into my skin for like the next half an hour to an hour, which obviously increases the, the benefits that I take from the sheet mask. One was really nice and I think it will feature again because I'm pretty sure I did have two of these but this is probably one of my favourite masks that I've tried from Vita Masks. Next we have this, oh you're gonna have to excuse us some of them are a bit soggy looking because they're obviously all been sitting together. This is another Vita Masks one and this is the Morning Goggle Eye Mask. I don't have time to apply eye masks in the morning so I did apply this of an evening. It says it is made with silver, caffeine, algae, complex, pumpkin and pomegranate. I haven't written anything on the back of this and I think that was because it wasn't like my normal mask so I thought I would remember it. I do believe I actually shared a picture of me wearing this on my Instagram which I will put on the screen now and I did quite like it. It definitely was something that I could see would be good to wear of a morning. It was very refreshing and kind of did perk me up. I'm glad I did it earlier in the evening than just before bed. I can see that it did contain sort of caffeine. I could feel something from it. And it did leave my, my eyes feeling nice and bright afterwards. And I think if you did have time to apply something like this in the morning, it would be great. And I think it would, for me personally, if I did it, it would feel like I needed to go in with kind of less concealer and things because it did just brighten up my complex. I did feel like a superhero in it, I'm not going to lie and I did actually put it on as I was putting my daughter to bed and she did think I was a superhero temporarily so that was quite cool so I would definitely look at possibly getting another one of these I do think they have a nighttime version as well though so that might be something I might look into more it fit really nice and it stayed in place which for just being across my eyes I did worry it would kind of slip slide but it didn't but I did really like this and it was something different we have this beauty pro cbd oil mask and this is one that I got in the recent glossy box. This one, again, is covered in residue, so apologies for that. It's the next one that's the culprit. This one says it contains CBD, lavender and rosehip. I don't know what CBD smells like, but this one definitely smells just of lavender. I'm not 100% sure of what rosehip smells like either, but yeah, all I could smell was lavender when I applied this. It wasn't a nice kind of soothing lavender, it was a bit too in your face, literally. 
and the sheet mask didn't fit very well. I remember it was quite gappy around my nose and no matter how I removed it, it just wouldn't sit on the bridge of my nose. And also it was cut too shallow around the eyes. So I felt like even though I pulled it back as far as I could, it was sitting close to my eyes and kept kind of catching my eyelashes. So this one was one that said leave on for 15 minutes, but I don't think I left this on for barely 10 because it just wasn't comfortable and the smell was a bit too overpowering. I just, I, don't, I didn't enjoy the process of wearing this one and I didn't notice anything afterwards anyway. So I wouldn't recommend this one. Next we have the Garnier Skin Active Moisture Bomb. This is the first sheet mask that I've tried from Garnier, but I did really like it. This one I've written that it did fit really well and it actually stayed in place while I did yoga. Most of the time when I'm applying a sheet mask, I do kind of just sit there and enjoy it. But when I put this one on and I felt how much it kind of adhered to my skin and was staying in place, I thought I would do some quick 10 minute yoga and I kept the mask on for the amount of time that it took me to do the yoga and it stayed in place and didn't budge the whole time. Because this one is so saturated, hence why it's leaked everywhere, this one did actually have a film layer that you peeled off before you applied it. So it was a bit more finicky than a lot of the ones I have here, which are just unfold and apply. But this one was so absorbed with product, it was put it on and removed the film. So it was a bit more finicky, but it had a really nice smell to it as well. It was really fresh smelling and I did really enjoy this one. I have put a note here that it didn't fit the best around my lip. And I think I remember the piece that sits across here kept moving down but everywhere else fit perfectly so that didn't bother me too much but I think this is one that I would definitely pick up again. Next we have this Everyday Akai one, I think that's how you say it and this is one from Face Story and this is a Face Story own brand. I have a couple of Everyday ones in here I think and I also have one in my latest subscription that I received which I did do an unboxing of in February which I will link in the cards. So this one because it contained, I think a is a berry. I did, ex I did expect it to have a scent to it, but it didn't smell of anything really, which isn't always a bad thing because fragrance in skincare isn't the best for your skin. It fit really nicely. And I remember I applied this one on a day when I had a headache and it was so cooling and so soothing that it really helped my headache. There's other ones here that I've tried when I've had headaches and they haven't had as good of effect as this one did because it was nice and cooling. I don't know if that's necessarily a claim that it has, uh, it just says rejuvenating mask, but I did feel rejuvenated after I used this one. We have this Sika one. This is a one from the brand John Blanc, and this is a Korean one. My notes for this one, this doesn't appear to have been one of my favourites, which I have forgotten. I've written that the sheet mask itself was really small around the eye area, but the sheet mask itself was large. So it must have gone too far past the kind of outline of my face and didn't stay in place very well. I've put that it broke out my nose the next day and that the lip section was too wide so I think the piece that goes here was probably too wide so it didn't sit right and probably ends up going in my mouth and then I've also put that it smelt okay but it did tingle slightly. A sheet mask tingling is not the end of the world sometimes that does mean the things in it are working. This one contains rosemary, chamomile, green tea, centella, asiatica extract Licorice, rosemary, goal, seven plant extracts help to calm and strengthen skin barrier, helps calm red sensitive skin and helps to trouble and relieve irritation. So something that you wouldn't think would break me out, but I've put a note that it did. This is the first one that was kind of a miss. Next we have the black gold mask from Vita Masks. And I remember absolutely loving this one. It fit really nicely. It had a really nice scent to it. And I think this was one that had the gold flecks in it. I don't think the mask itself was black. I think it just had gold and black flecks in it. But this one was really nice and left my skin feeling really nice afterwards. I think I've gone on their website since getting this to try and purchase this one. But I don't think they had it in stock. But now this has reminded me, I'll go and have a look for this. Another one of these pomegranate ones because I did really like both of these. Next we have this citrine sheet mask. And this says happy mind and nourish skin. Another one from Vita Masks. And on the back of this one, I've put, it smelled a bit alcoholy, which obviously it didn't have much of a scent to it other than it smelled like hand sanitizer. And then it was very wet, but it did fit quite nice and was tight to the skin. 
I take it it would have took a while for everything to soak into my skin afterwards so I think I remember this being one where I did have to wipe the excess off afterwards so just an okay one. Next we have this multivitamin mask again by Vitamasks. I don't think this is one that I picked up from the glossy box event i think this was in a glossy box a good while ago and i think this might have been one of the first masks that i tried from vita masks so this one says it's a more moisturizing korean face mask made with vitamins b3 b5 b6 c e there's no and to nourish your skin and this was a nice sheet mask from what i remember i've put that it smelled fresh but it was very wet and saturated and it I can't even understand what my handwriting is there on the back because it's been soaked in product that it's smudged. I've just put fit something. I, it's a word begin with S. I don't know. Maybe fit so well. Fit so well. Yeah, fit so well. <laughs> I really can't understand the handwriting on the back. That's what these smudges are here because they've all been pressed together. That's the Sharpie off another one that's gone onto this one. So this one apparently was a hit. But I say this is probably one of the first ones to try from Vitama Vita Masks, so this is one I tried a long time ago. But I do remember quite liking this one, and I think this is another one that I have seen on their website. And I was going to purchase when I was looking for the black and gold one, but because they didn't have that one, I didn't end up following through with the purchase. But I've now got a few that I will make a note of after filming this video, and then I'm going to go and see if I can get a few more on their website. So Next, we have this Nature Charcoal Purifying Black Sheet Mask. I don't remember where I got this one from, but it does say made in Korea, so I can only think it was from Face Story. And on the back here, I've put, smells very nice, not just smells nice, like I normally put. I've put 10 out of 10. <laughs> Obviously, I didn't have much room to write in the little green things on the back. And then I've put very wet, but fit nice. So this was obviously the one that was a bit of a hit as well. If there's anything here that you think you might like to try that I have got from Face Story, I do have a referral link in the description box below. Obviously no obligation, but if you do follow my link through, it does entitle you to a couple of free extra sheet masks when you subscribe to their service. Just something to note while I'm talking about sheet masks. Next, we have this one from Orjana, I want to say. This is the Nutrition Essential Vita Mask. I've not written anything on the back of this and I think this one was probably just an okay one so I've probably not had any pros or cons to kind of write on it which is why I've not written anything. I think that tends to be the way I go. If I think of something really bad about it or something really good I tend to write it down so the fact I've written nothing on it this one must have just been okay. This is getting a lot more sticky as we get to the bottom of the pile. This next one is from Herbs Fit I think that is and this is a Hortensia sheet mask and this is one I'm pretty sure I did put a picture up of me wearing on Instagram because this one had a flower design to it and looked pretty cool and this one I've put not a strong scent which I did think it would have because of it being a floral mask and it sits well but a little bit too much forehead <laughs> so it must have gone up a bit too high into my hairline which isn't a problem because usually after I apply a sheet mask, I tend to wash my hair anyway. So any residue that does get around the sides, I just wash it out. I think this one was more pretty than effective, but it looked cool in the photo. Then we have another one of these citrine ones. I've not written anything on the back of this because I've obviously written on the back of the other one. Then we have this fresh food for skin plumping mask. And this one says made in Korea. So this must be another one from Face Story. This one I've put, it smells nice but quite strong but can't smell once on the face and it sits okay. And I think because it was cranberry I did expect it to smell a bit stronger than it did but I thought you can't smell it when it's on the face because obviously that was a point I thought I needed to mention. I'm so glad I've got my little system of writing notes on each one even though the notes are getting a bit smudged. Then we have another one of these nutrition ones from Orjana. So that will be why I didn't write anything on the other one. So for this one, I've put fit well, stayed in place, fresh cooling. So this is another one that was quite cooling. Sometimes it's just the case with a sheet mask that when you apply it, the initial application is cold, but then it quickly passes. But there are a few that I have tried where that cooling has stayed in place. They are the kind of ones that when I have a headache are the ones I want to apply. I don't think this one was one that was great, although I have used it again 
so maybe I did like it more than I thought I did. One thing I've just noticed on the back of this, again it's a Korean one so it is translations, one of its claims are whitening and anti-wrinkle effect. I, I don't know what the whitening would be. It says that this mask is high effective nutrition mask with cellulose sheet. Vitamins C, E, B5, B6 and hyaluronate helps to provide a nourishment and gloss to rough skin. So I think again this one was just an okay one. I've not written a lot on the back just that it was cooling and stayed in place. So I don't think this was one that I would want to repurchase. Then we have a diamond eye under eye mask and this is from Vita Masks. Another one which I think I have put a picture up on my Instagram. My Instagram is always linked in my description box if you just want to generally check out my page and give me a follow over there. This one I think was really nice and it did leave my under eyes feeling nice and refreshed. It says it's instantly hydrating and cooling and again it's got caffeine in to deep puff tight eyes. I don't think I like this one as much as I like the full face one but obviously that one covered more of an area but I think I remember these ones being really nice and they did stay in place pretty well because I do sometimes struggle with under eye masks not staying in place the best but I think these ones were pretty good. And we have another of the pomegranate ones and okay so on this one I've put it was folded tightly it was easy to unravel but then ripped when applying so this seems to be one that I do quite like it kind of puts me off of them now saying that it did rip so maybe I just need to be more careful the next time. Then we have these Patchology Perk Up under eye masks. I've not written anything on these but I don't think I was a massive fan of them. I think I tried these two within a few days of each other and I think I preferred the ones from Vita Masks than the ones from Patchology and I do believe the ones from Patchology are a bit more expensive so I would recommend the Vita Masks one over these. Then we have more under eye masks and these are the Beauty Pro Eye Therapy. These are ones that I did get in a glossy box and I've had these a few times from numerous subscriptions and I do quite like them. I think they are pretty reasonably priced and they do stay in place pretty well but I didn't notice a massive effect after them. They just felt nice while you were wearing them but I didn't notice any sort of deep puffing or moisturiser or anything, these are just nice to actually wear. And the final eye masks are these ones from Black. These are ones that were contained in my FabFit Fun box. Never tried anything from this brand before, so didn't know what to expect when I tried them. These are very similar to the ones that I've tried from Tarte in the past, in that they aren't just a kind of sheet of what normal face masks are made out of. They are jelly-like. So I really like the ones from Tarte and I've gone to purchase them in the past but they are quite pricey and these are the same, these are just black jelly ones and they sit under your eyes perfectly and they don't budge. Where the ones that are the more papery material can sort of slip and slide because of the kind of jelly type rubbery material that these are made out of, they just don't move at all. So I've put here, don't move, feel really nice after, really comfortable to wear but don't leave on too long. That's more a note for myself for next time because I do have I think five pairs of these and I think it said to leave them on for 10 minutes. It doesn't say on here but just say on the box. I think it was 10 minutes and I left them on just a little bit over and I could start to feel that my under eyes were tingling slightly. So I'm not too sure what's in them but it will say it contains activated charcoal to deep off detox and get back to your gorgeous shiny self. So whatever was in there my skin can only handle so much of it so they did start to tingle but I did really like them and they did and I do feel like they genuinely did kind of deep up my under eyes and I remember the next day I hadn't had the most amount of sleep but I didn't need as much concealer because of having these on the night before. And we have this Face Story Everyday Almond Mask which is again from the same range as the Akai one from earlier and this one I've put fits really well, a fresh smell and stayed on during exercise so again this is another one that I've done yoga in and I've noted on here as well that my skin was really soft the next day. I've obviously not put that on any of the others so this is one that I must have really liked but I did think that I'd liked all the ones I'd tried from the everyday range and I did get another one from the everyday range in the February box which I've not tried yet but I'm excited to give it a go seeing as I've liked the other ones from this range. And then the final one is this Glam Glow Bubble Sheet. This one is a bit of a miss or a lot of a miss. So on this I've just written not good. 
but this is one that I did try and off that long ago so I knew I would remember. This is obviously as the name would lead you to believe is one that bubbles up once it's on the skin. I did try a bubble mask not that long ago before I started saving these up and I can't remember what brand that was from because that was a really good bubble mask. And it bubbled up a lot and it left my skin feeling nice afterwards and the bubbles while it was going were really nice. This one not so much and Glam Glow is not a cheap brand. This one didn't bubble up half as much as that other one did. The bubbles kind of just stopped after about 10 minutes. It does actually say on the back the bubbles start to form within 60 seconds but leave on for three minutes and there's not many sheet masks that you only leave on for three minutes but with this one after the three to five minute mark I did feel like I had to take it off because it was getting sticky so as the bubbles were popping on the skin they weren't just foaming up and staying foamed up they were kind of then popping and it was it was just really weird it was like the best way to describe it was kind of like sort of like a residue of like candy floss it was just so super sticky and when I took the sheet mask off as with all the other ones that I've used I tried to rub the residue in that was on my face and I just couldn't it literally felt like I had rubbed candy floss or something over my face it was just this really tacky sticky residue and I had to go and wash my face immediately I just did not like this one at all and I had high hopes for it because I had like that previous bubble mask while I was wearing it it just didn't feel great and it was one that I just had to take off because yeah it, it just wasn't good so I would not recommend this one. Overall out of all these sheet masks that I've tried there wasn't many bad ones there's quite a few good ones and I do really enjoy having a nice little pamper session and putting a sheet mask on doing a bit of yoga having a bit of a relaxation and I feel like I am really getting good now at trying to apply a sheet mask at least once if not twice a week just to give my skin that little extra boost. Like I said if you are interested in possibly signing up to the face story subscription I will leave the referral link in the description box below and I will also leave the website for Vita Masks seeing as that's the other mask brand that I seem to have the most masks from both of which do do really good sheet masks. But that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already. Thanks.